Hey guys, welcome back. So this is the new Foxeo F7 V3 all-in-one board. This is all the stuff which you get inside the packaging. Now before I begin this video, I'm just gonna say that this is hands down the best all-in-one board which you can get in the market as of right now. And there are a lot of reasons in order to support that bold claim. First of all, this flight controller is using a F745 processor which is the most powerful F7 chipset available for a FPV application. And if you're gonna look at these MOSFETs, we can see uh, that they are manufactured by OnSemi and OnSemi makes the best quality MOSFETs out there in the market. Having a closer look, we can see we have some parts given over here, which can be used to directly connect your motor wire. And over here we have parts in order to connect a battery. Now this board comes in two variants. We have MPU 6000 and then we have ICM 42688P. Now recently there was an update in Petaflight where ICM 42688P works much better compared to older generations of Petaflight. So in case if you are going to use ICM 42688P then you are going to get a slightly improved performance. Look over here we can see we have 5 volt PC. Now there is no 10 volt PC on this board. So in case if you require a 10 volt PC then you would require to use an external 10 volt board. Over here we can also see that we have a black box memory flash chip which is 16 MB in size and over here we can see we have some parts given through which you can connect your camera, VTX, receiver, GPS and all of the stuff which you use. Now this board supports DJI analog as well as HD0 so in case if you want to connect HD0 or DJI stuff then you can use this plug provided over here. Now if you are going to flip the board we can see we have a shunt register given over here which can be used for current calibration. Now there are a few things which I don't like about this board. The first thing is that they have kept a lot of electronic component close to the board. So in case if you are a beginner or someone who is not experienced enough in soldering, they can easily damage this component and make board useless. So that's something to keep in mind. Other than that, the pads are slightly on a smaller size so they can work a little bit more in order to increase the surface area of this part so that it is more easy for a user to go ahead and do some soldering without requiring a magnifying lens. 